battle in March. The battle in March. Um, they ain't tell me no event yet. They ain't tell me. They ain't tell me like where's that yet. But check it. This is what we are gonna talk about. So I saw the champion. They did their champion today, and um, I I ain't watched the whole thing yet because I was driving. So um, I saw it was a dude up there. <clears throat> Old looking dude, he had to be about 72. Dude, homie had to be like 72, yeah. You know, he looked good for his age, though. He had to be about 72, though. But um, he was up there. He was up there and shit. And he said something about how, well, am I going to talk money to Cassidy? And how can I talk money to Cassidy? That's my angles, that's how I talk How can I do that with Cassidy? Am I gonna do that? You motherfucking right I'm gonna do that The fuck is you talk? What the fuck? You motherfucking right I'm gonna talk money to Cassidy You know why? You know why I'm gonna talk money to Cassidy? I'm gonna do what I normally do The fuck is wrong with y'all niggas? Man, I don't change up for niggas I do the same, I don't change up for niggas I heard the same shit with Rock Yo, I don't know how good it's gonna do against Rock, like talking like that, cause Rock is so aggressive. Get the fuck out of here! The fuck is you talking about, b? I go up there and do what I do, man. You understand what I'm saying? Am I gonna talk money to Cassidy? You damn real, I'm gonna talk money to Cassidy. You know why? Because I'd rather be a thousand there my whole life than I hadn't made a million one time in my life. Believe that. Believe that. You heard? Believe that. Believe that. You know why I'm going to go up there and talk money and talk what I talk? Because I own three businesses right now. All right? And it's not even me two in my own horn. But don't ever say, am I going to talk money? You damn real I'm going to talk money. You know why I talk money to niggas? Because I'm doing better than half of these niggas. The niggas you think is doing good. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I'm not even talking about balling out of control and going in the club, popping bottles. I don't do that no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm grown. A nigga that I would never do that. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to real life shit and priorities, you feel me? And priorities, I'm excellent on my priorities. Know that. I got shit I'm still working on now. I got shit still, you know, some shit I got to fix, of course. But am I going to fucking talk money to Cassidy? You damn real. The fuck is you talk about? What, what, what the fuck is y'all niggas talk about, man? All a nigga gonna do is come on stage, borrow some jewelry for some niggas. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't borrow jewelry from niggas. When y'all niggas see me wear jewelry, it's my jewelry. I don't borrow jewelry from nobody. I wear my jewelry on stage, and that's what I do. All a nigga could do is come on stage, borrow jewelry from some niggas. Ask can he hold some money? Because I'm not going, you know, he probably, he, I'm, I know he knows some niggas that got some money. Ask can he hold some money? So he can look like it, you know, pull it out. I get it. But of course I'm going to talk money to that nigga. Cassidy ain't no fucking think he broke right now. Why you think he want to do battle rap, nigga? Why you think he back in battle rap, nigga? And y'all niggas is so, man, y'all got to, y'all just got to. Any smart nigga, any smart person would be able to look past or understand <laughs> what I'm saying. Y'all niggas kill me asking me, am I going to talk money to Cassidy? Ca niggas say, you can't talk money to Cassidy. Um, you know what I'm saying? Cassidy got more money than him. Why the fuck would you think that, nigga? Why the fuck would you think Cassidy got more money than me? Why? Why? Because at one point in now, let me say this, though. At one point in time. Cassidy did have more money than me. You heard? At one point in time, Cassidy did have more money than me. I would never, when he was up in his career, would never take that from him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never see a million dollars. I ain't never touch a million dollars. You feel me? And that's real. So at one point in time, Cassidy did have more money than me. The difference is, I've been a motherfucking thousandaire my whole life consistently. I've been consistently making money. I wasn't a dirty nigga, then start making money, then went back to being a dirty nigga. I've been consistently making my money my whole life. So when you ask me, am I going to talk fucking money to a nigga 
you damn well to talk money to a nigga. Especially a nigga I know. Me. I know. Is not living as good as y'all think. You get what I'm saying? So as the as the black people, or as us, the fans of this culture, y'all have to smarten up and look past what you think a nigga got because you have seen it once in his life. Okay? You gotta look past what you think a nigga got because you have seen it once in his life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I said, man, I've been consistently doing what I do. I haven't been down, then up, then back down. I've been consistently at a good pace doing what I do for a substantial amount of time. So when you ask me, am I going to talk money to a nigga? You damn fucking right, nigga. The fuck is y'all niggas talking about, B? I'm comfortable. I'm chilling. You think I'm going to go in there? First of all, when do y'all niggas know me to play with a nigga? That's number one. When do y'all know me to play with a nigga? That, that's number one. So, yo, yo, this is one of the smartest niggas I saw. If Cassidy had money, he wouldn't be battling. He needs the check. Let me ask you something. Do y'all think niggas really come back, right? Because they love the sport that much? Do y'all think they come back because they love the battle rap sport that much? Huh? Do y'all think these niggas come back because they love to rap, nigga? Because they love the battle rap sport. This is what the fuck y'all niggas think? Like, be real, man. Y'all niggas is motherfucker. Y'all surprising. Let me turn this shit up. This is my shit, man. Hey, hey. Let me turn this up right here. You know. Hey. 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 Ah, uh, let me turn that down. 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 Let me turn that down, man. But I just came on here to fuck with y'all niggas, man. Another thing I'm going to say. <laughs> Niggas say he beat me 15 0 back in the day. N another thing I'm gonna say, man. Another thing I'm gonna say, yo, is this, man. One thing I don't like I'm seeing now is everybody getting emotional about their kids. Before I was saying that or I was doing that, and this is real talk, yo. Before I was saying that, don't say nothing about my daughter shit that goes in my contract. Nobody was doing that. Now all of a sudden niggas is swinging on niggas because they saying something about their kids. Y'all let 15 niggas say something about y'all kids before that. But now it's, it's the cool thing to do. I don't even want to do it no more. When, when, when they get like that, I don't even want to do it no more. So I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you just like this, yo. Like I said before, I don't care if somebody says something about my daughter. If they make a ball with her. The only thing I cared about is if a nigga disrespect her. Your daughter could suck my dick. I put my dick down. If, like that, that just sounds crazy to me. And I don't, I don't respect if anybody said that to anybody else, kid. You get what I'm saying? If you gonna clap her, you gonna do all that. I know that's made up. I don't give a fuck about that. But I was wrong for jumping out the window on stage, hitting somebody because they said something about my kid. What I should have did as a man is I should have address that issue after the battle because the fans didn't come there to see me fight or to see a boxing match they came there to see niggas battle so i'm gonna say this from now on it goes on my contract you know what i'm saying um if a nigga say something about my daughter i'm not ever gonna get out of character i'm gonna let the nigga go like if he say something disrespectful and i'm not gonna do nothing until after the battle but best believe after the battle we gonna handle it believe that I won't leave that building until we handle that. Because I don't, I, and I'm doing this because I don't appreciate niggas going on here, jumping out the window. Now everybody want to swing on somebody because they said something about their kid. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to do something different. The nigga that started it is going to say this. If somebody say something about my daughter and I feel a way about it, I'm going to handle it after the battle i'm not even gonna hand, i'm not gonna do nothing on stage because the fans don't pay their money to see that you get what i'm saying 
and 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 I want to apologize to the fans once again for me even doing that because that was whack. So if I got any problem with somebody saying something or doing something to me, period, I'm gonna handle it after the battle. Getting what I'm saying? Now back to this, me motherfucking talking money to cat. The fuck is wrong with y'all niggas? Niggas and lost y'all motherfucking mind. Let me see what y'all saying. Cassie about to humble you guys. All right, cool. Then he humbled me, man. He humbled me then, B. If you, if anybody that ever met me or talked to me knows I'm a humble dude. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't boast and brag about nothing I got. I'm actually a regular person. And I act like that to the point where people got to tell me, yo, listen, you got, you somebody, you, you can't be moving the way you move. And I move the, the same way. You know what I'm saying? So, that's that. But I just wanted to get on here and talk about that, man. I motherfucking lost your mind, man. I forgot the motherfucking goods. GMB. Life is goods. I'm getting the fuck out of here.